Buddy Murphy, welcome to Gorilla Position. Welcome to Toronto. How are you doing today? I am fantastic, man. Look at this beautiful weather. Do oh, I, it doesn't get much it? better than this. And you're wearing a black suit. Yes, the I am so wedding. I am sweating, yes. Well, you're looking good, looking, good, looking sharp. Look like a champ. You do look like a champ. Just need the title. <laughs> um, so do you get excited for um, big weekends like this? Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, SummerSlam was like, as a kid, like it was one of my favorite pay-per-views. So uh, to be a part of one and come to Toronto, man, like it's awesome. I, I, I Rumble and SummerSlam, my favorites. Obviously WrestleMania, but uh, always exciting. So let's delve into the fan, Buddy Murphy. Okay. So SummerSlam was your favorite pay-per-view as a kid. What was your favorite SummerSlam? Uh, is there a particular match that sticks out? Uh, yeah, so it'd be uh, 2002 SummerSlam. Oh, what Ray a show. and Kurt. Did that open the show? It opened the show. That was a solid card, wasn't it? Yeah, and so was 2001. What was 2001? Remind me. Uh, that had like the uh, Brothers of Destruction versus DDP and Canyon in the cage. Oh, well, Rock and yeah. Booker T. yeah. Different little invasion times. summer slam different times um and talk to me about the transition to uh smackdown how's that been for you uh it's been good man it's been good it's probably uh from my original transition it's probably been a little bit longer than i uh hoped for but uh it was a bit of a strategic part uh for me as i wanted to gain a little bit more size before i mixed it up with the bigger guys on smackdown live so uh now i'm about 215 so i'm feeling good uh maybe get a little bit bigger um you know, because I want to bring the fight. I don't want to just be thrown around, kind of yeah. like I was by the big dog last week. But uh, we won't talk about that. Uh, but I put a challenge out for him, and if he wants to uh, step in the ring with me, I'm more than happy. So I love that little face off you had. I mean, he, you know, he's the biggest star in the company in the company right now. How was that sort of sharing that screen time with him? Do you get excited for for moments like that when you're sort of involved in, I guess, the biggest story WWE are running right now? Yeah, man. It's uh, you know, it's. it's to literally smile in his face on national television. <laughs> uh, it doesn't get much better than that. The, the next 30 seconds uh, was didn't go really my way. I wish it, it just stopped there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, uh, like I said, man, I put a challenge out to him, and if he wants to uh, step in the ring, and, you know, he blind, he gave me a cheap shot. He did. It was very cheap. My hands were by my side, so he struck first, uh, I'll strike last, uh, and I have a knee with his name on it. You, uh, you took a solid old bump over that table, didn't you? Uh, yeah, it didn't feel too good. That you oh. can't really see it, but I got a massive, massive little gash on my uh, oh, elbow from that. Yeah, so yeah. all good though. All, all good. good, all good in the hood. And so as as your career progresses, uh, and if you stick on uh, Smack, uh, SmackDown Live, if you could sort of tell a, a long term story with another talent, who would who would that be? Uh, so this might be a little bit long-winded and it might be a little bit too I generous. Love, I love long-winded. Uh, okay, so uh, Shinsuke Nakamura now has the IC title. Yeah. So how about we do a big scramble match with Andrade, myself, Dolph Ziggler, Apollo Crews, Ali, and Chad Gable. Okay. I'm liking this. You I'm know, liking this a lot. We call it the workhorse division. Oh, I like that. Would I like that a lot? The workhorse division on SmackDown Live. So it would be like the SmackDown Six back in the day. You had yeah. this uh, this uh, amazing group of talents, and then who? Well, who would win that match? Yourself, presumably. Well, that's you know, I didn't mean to say that, but I did for a year and a half. You know, destroy a division, you and did. then make it the most must-see, you know, show on television and then stole every pay-per-view that I was on, and then every match that I ever had was must-see. But yeah, who's, you know, I'm not done. who's, who's to say yeah, you should who, win? Yeah. Who's to say? I loved your reign with the, the 205 title. I thought it was absolutely amazing. And the, the victory in, in, in Melbourne was mm -hmm. obviously a special moment for you. Do, you. do you have fond memories of that title reign? Yeah, man. Uh, that, that was big, like especially winning it in uh, my hometown, Melbourne, Australia. That was my uh, favourite moment of, of Super Show. It was insane. It was it incredible. Was insane. Uh, 80,000 people standing up uh, who didn't know who I was before it, uh, then embracing, you know. It, it was awesome. And then, like, it, what drove me to that was the chip on my shoulder from NXT. I wanted to prove to the world, uh, and I wanted to prove that the best kept secret wasn't just a cool little nickname. Um, so to win that title and be like the face of the division, which I was so passionate for, and like I'm not just passionate for it, everyone's passionate for it. The whole 205 Live roster is just so passionate. Yeah. Um, 
and they all want to just you know, kill it every night. So uh, to work alongside guys like that, it was it was driving. So um, to be the face of that division too, man, was awesome. And I always wanted to put my best foot forward. And I, and I think that the best way you could tell that I was doing that was by the quality of, that I was you know, putting out. So uh, I love that rain. I love that division. Um, and it, I feel like uh, that a lot more people should watch it now and get on the train uh, because eventually it's going to blow up and they're going to miss miss the train completely. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Who's, um, who's your biggest supporter backstage, would you say, when it comes to sort of upper management? Is there someone who really champions you? Uh... I don't know, man. Like I think, like like Paul Heyman's a big, big advocate of me. Like he, he's he's you know real helpful. Um, but a lot of the guys, man, like Andrade, is like one of my best mates. So uh, you know, and I don't want to say it, but Ali's quite supportive as well. So uh, you know, it's 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 cool. Like you know, it's 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 cool to have the guys like that friends. You know what I mean? So. Um, yeah. And what sort of relationship do you have with Triple H? Yeah, Paul's cool, man. Paul, yeah. I should say Paul. <laughs> Hunter, Triple H, no, nah, he's awesome, man. Don't like, that often. you know, he, he was the one that kind of signed signed off on me to go to 205. So everything, uh, uh, it's awesome, man. Like, you know, he's, he's a supporter of me. And the fact that I went to SmackDown Live and slowly started uh, chipping up, up the ladder. You know, is, is is you know proof that he's a supporter. So yeah, um, yeah. I yeah, uh, I love this. Just going back to the workhorse division, I think it's absolutely something WWE should do. And I wouldn't put it past WWE to then create a workhorse title. No, as long as we can sell it. As long <laughs> yeah, as we can yeah, sell yeah. it. As long as there's a replica. So once I win it, yeah, I can get the replica. I I think there's definitely some merch to be had there. Well, I'll take a cut. Um, next year's SummerSlam, Boston. Who are you going to have a big marquee match with? Ooh. Ooh. No, let, me, let me put that... Where would you... What match would you want me to have? What marquee match would you want me to have? You're putting a lot of pressure on me there. Um, can I choose anyone? Anyone. Shawn Michaels? Is that a lame answer? Oh, yeah. Kind of. Okay. Well, he is he, a lame answer. He, he's not wrestling Dolph. Okay. He's not wrestling Dolph tomorrow, he so we can't be. do that. Yes. He should be. I'd love to What's see What's the that. reason for, for Shawn Michaels and Dolph not happening? Because presumably that was... I don't know. As do you a have fan, any in, I wanted insight to on that? No, yeah. no, no. I, I wanted to see it. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be Goldberg. I thought that Miz was setting it up as uh, as little HBK versus Dolph, but that was a surprise to me, just like yeah. everyone else. But, uh, yeah. I wish, man. That'd be a great match. I, I, you and Seth, I think I'd love to see. Okay, okay. I think two two great styles there. I think you could. Have you have you wrestled Seth much? Never, never, never ever, ever, never touched. Wow. So. Okay, you and Seth, world title, SummerSlam, Boston. All right, that's assuming that he wins tomorrow. Yeah, he will. You think? No, actually, I don't think. I think I Brock will win. I think Brock will. Give us your prediction. Him. Brock will annihilate him. Really? Sixty seconds. Like he did with the uh, old Cena. Yep, Goldberg. What he did to Goldberg. Okay. Just destroy him. Interesting. All right. Well, buddy, we'll leave it there. I hope you have a great weekend. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. You too. Pleasure. Thank you very much.